What is up guys, so today I'm going to show you my top 10 DC supervillain list. Now, for this list I'm counting down some of the best villains that I think DC has to offer. But there might be any Marvel villains since they are on a separate list. And if you want to see that, then look at my top 10 Marvel villains. Alright, number 10 is Sinestro. Sinestro is a leader of the Yellow Lantern Corps, but he was once a member of the Green Lantern Corps. He wields the yellow power battery of fear, and like the Oath, like the Oath, he wants people to feel all the fear that there is inside them. The members of the Lantern are chosen by how much they can install fear. And when they made Batman's enemy Scarecrow into a Yellow Lantern, I was really happy about that. Number 9, Black Adam. Black Adam is the enemy to DC Shazam, or Captain Marvel as he's also been known. He was once uh, the champion to the wizard known as Shazam. But he became so corrupt with the power that he decided to rule the people of Egypt. And basically, he can even go toe to toe with Superman like Shazam can. Because he has pretty much all his powers except for his heat vision. And he could actually beat him because he has because he uses the power of magic, like Shazam does. And we're actually going to be seeing Black Adam on the big screen in 2019, I think it is, 18 or 19, I think, when we see Dwayne Johnson portray this incredible character. Apparently, he's going to play him. Number eight, Deathstroke. Next up, we have Slade Wilson, who is the mercenary that we all know and love. Deathstroke is one of the most kick-ass assassins in the comic book universe, and is one of the greatest fighters in all of DC. With a knowledge of several forms of martial arts, he is definitely a fighter you will not want to go up with. He's even an expert in guerrilla warfare from his time in the war. But when his wife found out what he was becoming, she actually shot him in the eye. That's why, underneath the helmet, he actually has an eye patch. But, he's most notably been seen having two, gun two pistols and two swords as well. And trust me, he will cut you down quicker than you can say his name. He's just a great character. Number 7, Captain Cold. The design of Captain Cold's costume in the comic books might look silly, but I just I started to love Captain Cold after Wentworth Miller's performance of him in the Flash TV series and DC's Legends of Tomorrow. But <clears throat> Leonard Snart was a normal boy until his father started abusing him, but started abusing him and his sister, and the only actual family love that they had was their grandfather. But when they, but when he died, it opens him and his sister up to a whole load of pain from their father. But, being one of the greatest criminals and the leader of the rogues, a team of Flash's enemies, Captain Cold is one of the most iconic villains in DC. Number six. Darkseid. Darkseid is possibly the most iconic enemy of the Justice League and Superman. He is one of the most overpowered, super, overpowering supervillains that we have. I mean, his strength is incredible. He is he actually acts more like a general than he does a soldier, letting other people do his dirty work for him. He's also entrusted with the power of Omega. That means his Omega beams that he fires from his eyes can can follow a specific target. Which I think is just really cool. Although he has actually been beaten by characters like, like Brainiac and Doomsday. And the only two people that can withstand his Omega Beams are Superman and Doomsday. Number five, Bane. Bane is possibly the most devastating of all of Batman's villains. I mean, he cr freaking broke his back 
Bane is an expert in f several forms of combat, and his chemical enhancing drug Venom makes him a muscle bound behemoth that we all know and love. And Tom Hardy's performance of Bane in the 2012 Dark Knight Rises movie was incredible. Although they did take out the Venom, it was still a great performance. Number four, Professor Zoom. Professor Zoom is the Flash's greatest enemy and is one of the most iconic thanks to his appearance in the Flash TV series. Now, if it's a series about the Flash, obviously we're going to have Reverse Flash. His real name is Eobard Thorne, and he's a speedster from the 25th century. But he runs back in time to fight the Flash, and he's also run back in time to kill his, to kill his mother as well. There have been several different forms of Reverse Flash over the years, but Eobard Thorne is still my favourite. But, like Barry Allen, Flash created the Speed Force... Eobard Thorne created the negative speed force. Number three, Atrocitus. Atrocitus is definitely one of my favourites. He's the founder of the Red Lantern Corps of Rage. And I just love the way he looks. I love his design and I started to love him after I, saw, after I read the New 52 Red Lantern Volume 1 Blood and Rage. I've got to say, Red Atrocitus is definitely one of the coolest Lantern leaders. He is such a cool character. The way that he treats his, his enforcers, it's just incredible. He is a great character. Number two, the Joker. Now, come on, if it's DC villains, we've got to have Joker. The Clown Prince of Crime has been a thorn in Batman's side for several, several years. And each time he has found newer ways to torture Batman, like paralyzing Barbara Gordon by shooting her in the spine, and also killing the second Robin. But one of the most shocking things he's ever done is when he cut off his freaking face. That's right, he cut off his face to prove a point to Batman. That even though the whole Bat family wears masks, Joker is still Joker underneath his skin. But you can't have a top 10 DC villain list without the Joker. Or you can't have a villain, a comic book villain list without Joker. Now before I get to number one, I want to read out some honorable mentions. We have Razor, Ra's al Ghul, Harley Quinn, Brainiac, Captain Boomerang, and Bizarro. Alright. Number one, Doomsday. Anyone who knows me, you will know I am not a fan of Superman. I don't like Superman, but I respect those that do. But Doomsday is definitely my favourite because he did what no one else could do. He eliminated the Man of Steel. And not only that, his backstory, his origins are incredibly entertaining. But... He is one of the most powerful beings in all of comic book history. I mean, when you kill Superman, you've got to be one of the most powerful. His strength is un is absolutely incredible. He also has the sense to he also has the ability to sense Kryptonians, which is what he picked up whilst he was in space. That's after he was uh, shipped off from a planet called Calaton, where he had wreaked so much havoc on. Well, guys, that's my list, but there are several more great DC villains out there, like, like Scarecrow, General Zod, and the list goes on and on. But those are just my ten favorites. But... I hope you guys like the list, and I will be sure to come back next week when I give you another one of these lists. I'll see you guys later. Be sure to subscribe and like my videos. See ya.